I'm just walking into Adelaide Writers Week very briefly and I'll just show you the scene here at the Torrens. Hi ladies and gentlemen, back again. Um, just reminding you, please, could we keep the area in front of the stage clear? We also have uh, signing going. Hi, I'm having my hair done at the moment, so I thought I'd show you a before and after. I've got a few functions on this evening, and I'm here with Gennaro, so he's working wonders. Hello. So, from, from Rose Park, Adelaide, South Australia. That's right. So this isn't my best look, but uh, it will get better and we'll, we'll come back to it soon. Bye. Hi, I'm out walking to my function. I have a drinks function and then I'm going to a play. So I'll take you for a little walk down the River Torrens. I haven't been a good vlogger since I last saw you on Thursday. I have not recorded anything and I've been to an amazing show on Thursday night called Girls and Boys, which is a one woman, one woman show uh, directed by Mitchell Butel of the State Theatre Company, South Australia, with Justine Clark. Just an incredible, really the edge of your seat performance, which we were glued to. And then Friday I had a day off. I did not go to any festival shows. I missed the Climate Forum at Writers Week. I just was getting so much else done. So I've, I've had a, so a slow day on Friday. And then Saturday, yesterday, we went out last night to one night at a disco at the Summer House. So late night tough guy, um, beautiful dinner beforehand. I just got no footage at all. So I might post a photo or two um, but that was really fun and a, quite a late night. So I've taken it easy today, but I'm just heading out to the picture of Dorian Gray, which is a Sydney theatre company show and a one woman show again. And apparently she plays, I'll have to get the name of the actor. Um, she plays all the parts and it's apparently incredible. It has been on in Sydney, but this is the first time in Adelaide. So I'm really looking forward to that and um, I've been trying to catch up on book reviews but I've only managed one in the whole, yeah, one today and one yesterday. Um, so I've got a pile of about eight books that I still need to um, wrap up and review. So stay tuned for that as well and I'll see you soon. Bye. Good morning. We're here at Eucaria up at Mount Barker in the Adelaide Hills and we're going to a chamber ensemble concert here. Um, it's the most beautiful location, so I'll show you where we are.
Hi, I've got four minutes before my Uber comes. I'm just heading out to a show and I thought I'd see if I can do some quick book reviews, mini book reviews while I'm waiting. So I'll start, I'll just go straight into it because I have four minutes. Um, the Fell by Sarah Moss. I enjoyed it. I didn't like the main character, but I thought it was perfectly done. So mixed feelings about this one for me, but she writes so well. Um, Everybody by Olivia Lang. I love Olivia Lang and I've loved her non-fiction. I think I prefer the non-fiction about authors. This one's about artists, Susan Sontag, Andrea Dworkin, thinkers, intellectuals, um, Reich, I think a, a psychologist. I didn't know all of the figures in the book and I don't think you have to, but I think it helps. And it just wasn't, it didn't interest me as much as some of her earlier ones have, but just incredible the way her mind works and she brings a fresh lens to everything she comments on and I love her writing. Lemon by Kwon Yeo Sun translated by oh, translated from the Korean by Janet Hong and this is a it's like a slow burn mystery it starts with a high school beauty murder um, I didn't mind it it's a very beautiful clean writing it has a gentle tone um, but it is I think in some ways quietly hard-hitting about um, some of the ways women are treated in South Korea and and the beauty standards so an interesting one I didn't love it um, George Saunders a swim in the pond in the rain this is a fantastic masterclass on writing a short story using and it includes Russian short stories from Tolstoy Chekhov Gogol and others and I loved it I just love George Saunders he brings his sense of humor he brings a really generous approach to teaching he teaches you a lot and he the way he writes it's so conversational and it makes sense as you read it I still feel like it's a level above my skill level um, so you know I don't think I could do what he's saying to do but I just love being in his company so I recommend it for that reason um, Lucy Foley the Paris apartment I just finished this morning it was an excellent crime novel I read it in two days it's really really interesting well written fast paced short chapters and set in Paris but all within one apartment building and it has been described as Agatha Christie-esque and I can see that just because of the way she's constructed the mystery and having them it's not quite a locked room but having them in that sumptuous setting um, but it's quite seedy what's going on I feel like I can hear my car my uber coming a man named doll by Jonathan Ames this is again a really fast-paced short snappy crime thriller and it has a feeling of it's set in Los Angeles and it feels a bit like old Hollywood noir so I recommend that one it feels like a black and white movie with the narrator um, the voiceover behind it um, so I really enjoyed that Paul takes the form of a mortal girl is excellent really fun and different very queer um, great sense of humor and it's quite long so in some parts it feels not repetitive but you know you wonder what what is the point we're driving towards but um, Paul is just such a beguiling um, irresistible character and I loved the commentary on gender fluidity and the sort of inclusivity of this book and the acceptance and um, yeah I really recommend it sorry that's Andrea Lawler I think is the author and that's a belated read that I've had on my shelf for a long time so I was glad to get to that finally toxic by Richard Flanagan the underbelly of the salmon industry in Tasmania. I can't eat farmed salmon again after reading this book, um, but nevertheless, a really engaging read despite the subject matter, which I can recommend, um, but very disturbing. So there you go. That's a very quick fire review. You have to run. So I'll see you soon. Bye.